So we're joined here with Emily and she's just graduated as a third year student at Solent University, Solent Fashion Media. Um, so hello Emily, welcome. Um, so basically introduce yourself, where have you spent your lockdown, your quarantine, what are you doing now? I originally went home after uni all finished because we couldn't continue using like equipment and stuff. Um, so I went home because I could do my FMP from my laptop and I had to change it quite a bit. Um, and then obviously did my hand in and now I've come back to Southampton just for like the last month of uni just mm -hmm. to live here to actually move all my stuff out and adjust to like not living in Southampton anymore because it was really sudden. My, my mum and dad just came up and got me when Boris did his announcement and was like, right, we're going home. And I was like, had a okay. great <laughs> I wasn't ready to leave uni yet, so yeah, yeah, so it's quite an abrupt ending there. to the whole experience. Yeah, yeah it's like you live here for three years, and it's like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Home, yeah. Are all your friends in the house with you and stuff? Um, just my boyfriend's here. Everyone else is still at home. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's nice to be back in Southampton, but I bet it's so weird, obviously, because like it's you can't really do anything, can you? It's just I know I've been having like social distance barbecues and stuff yeah, yeah. No, not the same no <laughs> yeah. no um if you could just give us a brief like roundup of what your fmp is and like what you've done okay so i did there's like loads of different elements to it so my main thing was like the magazine which i carried on from second year um mm -hmm. so vault is about vintage designer and pre-love luxury um and it's kind of like the opposite side of the second hand industry because I hadn't seen anyone else doing so something like that before um, and everyone's talking about like second hand stuff but I wanted to make it a bit more niche so yeah. I took it to that side um, and then what else did I do I did like social media website films marketing materials and like a mock-up of like a rental app so there's quite a lot a of bit of everything a little a nice mix yeah. <laughs> were you like able to do whatever you wanted then or was there like certain criteria you had to like tick um so you could do whatever you wanted um but it's like the volume of work as well as like what do they call it quality as well yeah so there's quite a lot to do you have to meet like a certain amount um of work and it is a lot of work because it's a 40 credit unit so mm -hmm. it's basically like when you do 20 credits it's double um, yeah and yeah I originally um was going to do like a coffee table book of like high fashion imagery because I liked doing photography and like styling and creative direction I, I enjoyed that side of it from first and second year so I was going to do a magazine and then a coffee table book and they were going to be like my main two products but mm -hmm because of the coronavirus I couldn't take any pictures because yeah models couldn't meet and stuff um yeah and so I had to change it all but yeah um did you like was it first semester you planned it all and then second semester third year you did it all like how did it work in terms of that oh in third year we did half the first part of third year was other units and then when we came back after Christmas then we started it, but we had done the proposal before Christmas. Yeah. So you know you had an idea of what you were doing. Yeah. yeah. And there's that whole like research and everything as well. Yeah, it's like research on like markets, like why it's relevant. Is there going to be like a place for it? Just like mm -hmm. proving that it's got yeah. a place mm -hmm. in the market. Yeah. And then also, so like for inspiration for your final major project, like how did your like concept start and how did it evolve from start to finish? Like where did you get the idea to like do this? So our, uh, I don't know if you've done the unit, the unit, the magazine unit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we've done that. So one, yeah. my idea originally started as just like thrifting and normal secondhand stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did a second version of it and I took it to the vintage designer and like luxury secondhand side, but I made it too like prim and proper. I made it appeal to like 
middle-aged women and not like millennials so it wasn't as yeah wasn't as like edgy or I don't know it wasn't very appealing um and then for my final age project I was like I'm going to change it to make it more like how I did my first ever one which was about back to the thrifty side yeah the side but also incorporating the main like theme being vintage designer yeah yeah and then also you've been shortlisted for the graduate fashion week award for digital fashion publication so like how, in terms of that did you like get nominated how did that work it was all quite quick actually so we handed in our fmp and then rachel was like oh we want you to submit for graduate fashion week awards and we're like, okay we thought we we're gonna have to do loads more work but we just kind of put a pdf together of work we already had and it was kind of just like a pitch of what your magazine is about yeah um, and yeah and then it went through uni shortlist so you, the uni have to send it the ones they like to graduate fashion week so it went through the uni shortlist and then yeah to graduate fashion week and here you are when did you find out about um like the awards like when do you find out if you've made it or not like there's like more stages so mm-hmm. you've got to go to london to do like a dragon's den pitch thing which oh i didn't great. realize that was all <laughs> <laughs> and then um and then they decide more finalists from that and then in september they'll do like an awards evening in london if you oh so it's quite a long time then quite a long it's process, a long process. <laughs> yeah i wasn't expecting now. something like that september yeah. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Like it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um obviously the coronavirus is such a big thing at the moment. Has it really affected your FMP at all? Um I did many more like collaborations in my magazines and stuff because I was gonna take all the photos myself and like mm-hmm. make everything as much as I could of my own stuff, like yeah. front cards and stuff. Like I wanted it to be my work so that it was like a showcase for what I'd learn at uni so my magazine has a lot more collaborations with people in the industry just to kind of pack it out because yeah yeah and then like quite like disheartened that you couldn't do it all yourself and you had to change it and stuff like that or did you kind of just get on with it it took me so long to be like I've actually got to change my idea like I was kept I kept thinking oh it's only gonna last a month I can come back to uni and then carry it on but I was yeah, yeah. we all thought we were going to come back after the Easter holidays oh, yeah. like. I think everyone <laughs> really, yeah realized it's actually a lot longer than yeah. that we think it's, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> I know, so I was sitting at home thinking it's fine like, I don't need to change my idea and I actually should have done that because I wasted probably quite a lot of time thinking yeah I can go back and do it but it changed anyway so yeah <laughs> did you get given quite a lot of support then obviously through this time from the lecturers at uni and everyone yeah, so we still had like our regular lessons, but just on Zoom. Um, and obviously Rachel was there whenever we wanted to like get her advice. So yeah, and you, on Zoom, you can like show all your work anyway. So we had yeah, like yeah. class meetings where you still get feedback and stuff. So yeah, did you have like just one-to-ones or did you have it like as a class? A bit of it, anything you wanted really. I prefer yeah. like the group ones because then you can yeah, see what Yeah, I quite like that, doing. yeah yeah and you see it, where everyone else is yeah <laughs> and then in terms of like what you've learned over your three years at Sodent, like what um how did first and second year like lead up to your final major project like did you find that you loved photography and that's what you wanted to take on or yeah so it's quite first and second year is like a trial like of everything just to see what you like because you do so many different units and I suppose your FMP is like nailing it down to what you actually want to do yeah. Um, so I did really enjoy like the styling and creative direction and like photography side of it and in my FMP I'd like started to organise to meet like paid models mm-hmm. um, and it makes it look so much better because they're just so professional and mm-hmm. they make sure that work look not like a student's work. Yeah. Did you find that like doing your final major project was expensive in terms of having those extra costs for models and stuff like that and clothes and it or... was it was expensive but it was like affordable yeah, um, yeah. like affordable for a student yeah the, and you get like money back from like most expenses up to like 300 quid 300 pounds or something um 
and like the models I met in London I had met them on like a Facebook group where they were happy to do it to like freely model and yeah. all I had to pay for was like their tube fares or their oh training. that's good then yeah so, oh, so that it makes it cheaper yeah yeah that's good um so what was your experience like at living in Southampton did you enjoy it or were you like not sure at the start or did you adapt to it I literally like first year absolutely loved it and then because it's just like so you're just away from home can do whatever yeah. you want yeah <laughs> with all your mates in halls um and then second year was a bit more like real to like uni work and then third year is obviously no social life for long <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's like in your room hug yeah out, literally doing work. <laughs> just sitting on my bed in my pajamas doing uni work but yeah <laughs> at but, least you're in your bed in your pajamas <laughs> <laughs> that's comfortable <laughs> Yeah. So did you enjoy studying at Solent? Would you like recommend it to anybody? Yeah, 100%. And I think our class especially were so fortunate because we were the first class on fashion media, but there was only eight people in our class. So we yeah. literally get like one-to-ones whenever we want. And that's quite like rare, I think, for students. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. we're in like a room of a lecture hall of like 200 people. Yeah, because even though ours is slightly bigger, we still get so much contact time all the time. Like it's so yeah. good. But like, for if you were thinking about one piece of advice for someone starting the course, what would you tell them? Um, I would say it's about like putting effort in because at school you get told that you have to do this by this day, yeah. and yeah. at you it's like you really fall behind if it's up to you. <laughs> yeah, to do it and like it's kind of like the studios are there so if you want to do shoots then you can do them you haven't mm-hmm. got anyone telling you you've got to do this by this date it's kind of like yeah your work will get better and your portfolio will get better the more you do mm-hmm. did like, you find it was quite easy to like collaborate with other students as well like yeah literally everyone uh, I found was so up for it like mm-hmm. you just match them it's difficult to organize like models makeup artists all to be like free at the same time especially yeah like uni timetables but yeah everyone's like up for doing stuff yeah so if you would give someone some advice for starting their fmp so like us who we're about to go into our third year what would you yeah. like say um choose something that you really really like enjoy because mm-hmm. you're doing it for like a whole half of the year and yeah. I feel like if you enjoy it, then you'll naturally spend more time wanting to improve it. Like, it doesn't feel like a chore if you enjoy it. Yeah. Social media at the start, I was like, oh, I've got to post every day. And it was kind of like a chore. But as my, like, brand started to grow and I really started to enjoy it, um, I would just naturally start posting. And I'm still posting now, like, after. Yeah. yeah how did you gain like your following how did you find it was best to do that um so kind of like trying to create a community and like sharing posts of people like shouting about other people's accounts and yeah. hoping that they would share vol yeah um, and just kind of like yeah contacting those people commenting on other people's posts just trying to get like you recognize as much as possible hashtag it yeah. where do you want to go in in the industry like what's your dream job where's your dream place to work where do you want to see um, yourself so originally it was like creative direction and stuff like that but i kind of like the whole building of like magazine so everything mm-hmm. to do with that really but like a dream company would probably be like someone like asos id dazed yeah yeah mm-hmm. but I've got to start the application process now. Yeah, yeah. did you apply? <laughs> yeah, have you started applying for jobs or anything, or are you going to wait until Corona's blown over a little bit more? Or well, I've been looking, but there's like a few, but there isn't. There's not many people looking at the moment because of what's going on, is it? Yeah, and do you do you think you could see yourself moving to London or another big city, or do you want to stay like yeah, at I, home? Or I hope like to work in London. I just feel like the whole like atmosphere is just better like yeah in London. yeah 
thank you very much Emily um that is yeah. it um thank you for being our first guest on FM chat <laughs> yeah um if you wanted to tell everybody your um like social media handles underscore vault magazine underscore mm -hmm. um and then my professional instagram is by Emily Batters perfect yeah and that will be in um, the description, description as well. well and your website and everything we'll put that in the description as well yes. so but thank you very much for being our first yes. guest and we shall see you in the next one